Okay, YouTubers. Here we go. I have an ICOM 7300 HF radio. I can't say enough about this radio. I like this radio very much. Um, basically, I'm just going to do a video of just the basic operation of the radio to get you on the air. Um, so, here you go. Turn on the power. So, when you first want, well, the way I have it set up is um, I got the spectrum scope uh, in the expanded mode and it allows you to see uh, the entire, um, gives you a larger view of the spectrum scope. I also have it set on fixed, center fixed, where you got the entire band across the width of the screen. If you go to center, the spectrum scope stays center and the, in, in the band changes slides across the uh, the center point of the spectrum scope so I uh, I prefer to have it on the fixed because you get to see the entire scope and that helps while you're you know you're participating in contesting or uh, you know what or you know whatever you're doing if you're just looking at the radio and you see and you see these little spikes that's people talking on the radio um, so if you want to tune to one of these little spikes you just hit you can touch the screen and then you can see it'll give you a magnified view of the spectrum scope and you can just touch it and then you can fine tune it so now what I want to do is uh, I'm going to fine tune it some more so I'm going to hit this button hold it actually before I do that it gives you uh, it gives you some more options to fine tune this and then if you want to fine tune it some more, hold that button for a second and it gives you uh, some more fine tuning uh, ability here, which I think is pretty slick. So, and uh, there's there's multiple ways to tune this, or two different ways to tune this radio. One is by touching the, the, the touch screen on the spectrum scope and, and just selecting this peak here. And I'll say I want this one right there. And then the other way to do it is uh, tuning it with the dial like uh, like you always like we've always done. Um, ba um, like I said, I keep this set on uh, the basic, uh, or I should say, on the uh, on the on the on the expanded on the expanded mode on the on the spectrum scope. So changing um, bands is pretty easy. Um, you just go to the, the the frequency here, and it brings up the band stacking register, and then you choose 20 meters, and then the radio flips over to 20 meters. Hit that again, and go to 80 meters. Now you're on 80 meters. Now if you want to go to uh, uh, when you're on single sideband, if you want to go to upper sideband, you just hit the uh, the LSB button up here. That's the mode button for whatever. Uh, you can click CW. And now you can go over to CW bands to see who's uh, on CW. And then you hit auto tune right here. And it automatically tune to I don't know if that's CW, but I'm going to get off that. I'll go back to uh, 7, I'm sorry, 40 meters. You got some CW activity going on here, so I'm going to go over here. You can hear it, so I'm going to go over here, hit CW, and then I'm going to tune the dial. Now you can hear the CW going. Now you want to get you want to get two. You can auto tune it even finer. You can auto tune. It's got an auto tune function function for CW only. You hit the button, and it and auto tune jumps on up there, and then now you're you're directly on that uh, frequency, and you can hear the guy uh, you know um, punching out the. Uh, the uh, Morse code, nice little feature. So, like I said, there's a couple of different ways to tune this radio. Um, I I really like it. Um, I'm gonna turn the volume back down. Obviously, you got your you know your standard ICOM you know volume RF squelch radio or uh, functionality. You go all the way this way. You got RF gain. You go all the way this way. You got your squelch. 
um, the menu button you hit the menu button and it brings up uh, a lot of other functions you hit scope I mean obviously that's what I was on set before and I hit audio and it brings up the audio scope now I like this is where you can hit the mini scope button here and now you got the uh, spectrum scope and the audio scope button or uh, function uh, uh, um, scopes showing up in the display and uh, it's pretty nifty if you want to see how much uh, how how much de uh, decibels you're pushing out on your uh, on your mic um, exit that exits the scope exit uh, it hit this mini button and it exits the uh, the uh, spectrum scope fighting a kitty cat over here get away go back to menu select uh, scope again and it brings back up the scope hit exit takes it out menu you uh, hit menu and then you can get your bands I'm sorry not your bands but your power meters you got your signal meter uh, got your compression you got your SWR it's it's got everything I'm gonna go back to uh, single sideband get on a different radio you got a temperature gauge that shows you how hot the, the radio is running nice uh, exit out of that go back here and you can bring up just your uh, SWR um, I'll go into the the SWR graph uh, later on um, I mean you, it, it'll it'll show you how how what your match is um, but I'll get into that later. It's a little bit more into it to just to set it up So I'll get into that later. So you just hit exit get out of that and then uh, in order to have the memory pad and the record function works you got to have a uh, SD card in the slot down here before that to work um, This like I said, this is a pretty cool uh, setup um, You want to exit the menu anytime you see that you get you out. So go back. I usually have the scope set up and I have it up large and I have it on on fixed so that way I can see the entire band which is pretty cool multi-function uh, this adjusts your uh, I'm not sure what the monitor function is I'm still a new ham I'm still learning the hobby as we go uh, then you got your mic compression and you got your uh, mic gain um, you can set your, you know, you can control your mic gain by, by, by this multifunction knob, and then your RF power. You can turn your RF power up or down, however you want. So that's pretty slick. Now you got two ways to exit this menu. You can push this button or this this knob in, and it drops it out. Or this little return button. You just hit that, and it drops it out. Nice little setup. tune a frequency here and put the volume all the way down which is pretty nice you got your memory uh, select buttons here when you, if you go into memory road memory mode right now I'm in VFO mode uh, you go to memory mode you hit the M pad here the memory pad um, this is uh, all around a pretty good radio so I um, think I'm gonna end the video here then I will uh, uh, get back to you guys with another video on another functionality of the radio have a great day